August 5th. It's now a little after 5.30 p.m. Here's the radar. Very good chance we're going to get some thunder in the next 12 to 24 hours. Of course, we're here. There's a line of two storms right here, and they're probably they're really intense. Another line here, west of Manhattan, and here, upstate New York. So, might get something out of this, out of this, and out of this. Any one of them, or all three. Okay. And I'll be ready. And sleepwalk tomorrow after I lose some nice sleep. This is the cloud top heights and the severe T storm watches and warnings. Oh, look at this sucker. There's a 60,000 foot top height here. It's definitely severe. 60. That's almost 12 miles. About twice, almost <laughs> more than twice the height of Mount Everest. There's a 550 here. So this might very well hold together. Boy, this is like a real nasty one. Okay, of course the watches. I'm sure the warning's there. Of course, here the lightning strikes. That's the one with the 60,000 foot top. Yep. And the carpet here of lightning strikes and the carpet here. Yep. So you see, more lightning strikes here than there actually are down in Florida. How about that? Of course, these are all caused by a strong cold front. Yeah. So, I might get something out of here, out of here, and out of here. And I will be ready, my T-Storm and YouTube buddies. And here's the dew points. You can tell this is a cold front that's causing all that wild weather. And the dew points here, 75. Ugh. 72. Yuck. Here it's 81. Look at this, it drops way down. Nice. Boy, when you get over here, have a nice night for sleeping and have wonderful dreams. Maybe dreams of tea storms. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you have to dream about them because they're absolutely real. And they could be here very soon, and I will be ready. Well, here it is, one day later, we hardly got any thunder out of. Uh what I saw on radar, just a few distant lightning flashes and everything. Around quarter of 11 last night, August 5th, I heard that uh, tens of thousands of people in, in the Hartford area in Connecticut lost power because of the lightning strikes that you saw on the radar. Well, the sea breezes chewed up the sea storms. Yeah, meanwhile, it's a beautiful sunset here. Sunset next day later, August 7th. Yeah, get a lot of this, man. Wow. Well, no thunder today, although on this date four years ago there were severe T storms everywhere over Long Island, New York. In fact, there were even rotations on the cells over there. And there were a whole bunch of them in uh, western Connecticut and western Massachusetts. Well, they're all over the place. We did get some activity here, but nothing stellar. That was four years ago today on 8708. Boy, that month was very active in terms of T storms. And of course, three days earlier, 8408 Chicago was walloped with some real CG T storm monsters. A lot of them are on YouTube. We might get more later this week. Like Friday and Saturday, found this to be some T storm activity days right here. Yeah, a few moments ago, I was saying that back in August of 2008, we had lots of thunder in a single month. A lot. Yeah. There's a guy on the motorcycle recently. Yep. <laughs> he thinks it's thundering now, that's why he's out there on his motorcycle. <laughs> How about that? So glad to get those trees out of there. I'm sure my good tea storm buddies agree with me, including Tom from New Hampshire. Oh, he was the first one to really congratulate on me on that. Same with my other YouTube tea storm buddies. 
Well, whatever thunder I get, later this week, I'm sure I'll be thinking of them and they'll be thinking of me. I'm sure Elisa, I'm sure Billy St. Pete, I'm sure Scott Tornado Video Stock, I'm sure Mamatas, I'm sure Josh from St. Louis, I'm sure Jessica from Western Ohio will all be thinking of me when we get tea storms later this week. Yeah, they're in the cards. Oh, what a pretty sunset. Okay. Oh, look at the striking colors. One more shot here. Oh, yeah, another shout out to Marshall, another good tea storm buddy from Michigan. Wow. Incredible. That's what I like about high clouds. You can tell it's a few minutes later because you hear the peepers louder now than just a few minutes ago. Again, a few minutes ago I was talking about the giant tea storms that hit Chicago in 8408. Well, some of the videos I saw on YouTube I have saved and I put them in my favorite files. And they're readily available under my old screen name, Love's Tea Storm Tapes. Just for the records. Okay. Of course, August the 5th, Hartford, Connecticut was walloped with some pretty nasty CGs too. As I mentioned, probably. Okay. 